What is going on, guys? It is your boy, Pete. Here, we're going to be talking about the polymerase chain reaction, or abbreviated PCR. So why do we care? Well, PCR is a very useful technique, and it's used in forensic science, and it's also employed for the diagnosis of various diseases. And so essentially what it does is it amplifies a certain DNA sequence. So one of the first major components we need is a DNA template, and that contains the target sequence that we want copied. And this is usually between 100 and 10,000 base pairs long. We also have a DNA polymerase, so just a little refresher, the polymerase synthesizes the complementary strand. And since we're operating at high temperatures, an enzyme that's suitable to these temperatures and works ideally at these temperatures must be used. So we use what's called TAC polymerase, or the polymerase that is seen in Thermus aquaticus. We also need a primer. So the primer is about 20 nucleotides long, and it's a small DNA sequence, and it serves as a starting point for DNA polymerase. So that way you can add nucleotides, the fourth major component. And these nucleotides are what contain our bases. So the first part of polymerase chain reaction is denaturation. So here's a simple diagram of our DNA strand, and this is our target sequence that we want copied. And we, so we set the temperature to around 94 to 96 degrees Celsius. We break the hydrogen bonds and split the two strands. So now we have two separate DNA strands. We move on to the annealing phase where we attempt to join the primers to the DNA strand. And again, the primers are the complementary DNA sequences to each of the strands. Again, they serve as a starting point for polymerase to add the rest of the strand. We lower the temperature to 50 to 65 degrees Celsius and the primers join the DNA sequence. And our next step is called elongation or extension. Here, we, set the we raise the temperature back to 75 to 80 degrees Celsius. Each polymerase operates at a certain temperature, but since we are likely dealing with TAC polymerase, we change it to this temperature, and we let polymerase extend the complementary strands to synthesize the full copy. And now after this is done, each two strands are then copied again, and so the cycle continues until there are millions of DNA copies. So that is all for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and again, the more you know, the better you are.